It's crock pot day. I've got my slow cooker out. I'm going to show you how to make a gnocchi and chicken soup. This is a copycat recipe from Olive Garden. It's creamy, it's delicious, it's full of flavor. We're going to start over here with a mise en place of celery, carrot, and onion and get started with that because that's flavor. We're going to peel three carrots. We're going to cut off the ends. I'm just going to take my box grater and we're going to use the big side here and just start grating the carrots. Now watch your, the bottom of your hands. Oh, that's plenty right there. Look at that. We're going to take two celery ribs and we're just going to slice these lengthwise a few times. That way we get nice little sticks right there. We'll do that on both of them. And then we're just going to run our knife through. We're going to take half of a yellow onion. Now I've already got the skins off of it and the ends. We're just going to run our knife through it. Big slices. Turn it around, run your knife through. There's our mise en place. We're going to go ahead and add this to the bottom of our crock pot. Now I'm using a six quart slow cooker. It's the oval shaped one. All right, now you can always change what you want in your soup here. If you don't want the celery, you can add more carrot, more onion. Now I'm using some garlic cloves. We're going to be doing two of them. That'll add some delicious flavor. Just take the back edge of your knife, place it on top of the clove, and smash it down. And that'll help release the paper off of your garlic. All right, I'm just going to put them into my garlic press. All right, we're going to mince it in. Let's talk chicken. I'm using two boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Now these are pretty large, so you're going to want about two pounds for this recipe here. I'm just going to cut these into strips and then cut the strips into bite-sized pieces. That way you can make it easy for everyone to eat the soup. Think of that spoon and people having to pick up the spoon of soup, right? You don't want a big piece of chicken on there falling off. Now you can also cook your chicken whole in there if you want to do that and then once it's done you can shred it into the soup. All right, now that we got the strips, we're just going to turn our chicken and then cut it into small little pieces. That's good right there. What we're going to do now is place our chicken in with the carrot, celery and onions in our crock pot. This is a very good dump and go recipe. We're not cooking anything. We're not pre browning anything. So this is a really put it all in there and let it cook and then finish it off with some delicious ingredients. And that's it. All right, let's talk about seasonings. Poultry seasoning. We're going to go in with one teaspoon. Now, if you don't have poultry seasoning, you can put thyme in there. You can put a little bit of oregano in there. Whatever seasonings you like to put on chicken. All right. Mmm, smells good. All right, we're just going to sprinkle it all around. It's going to get all mixed in, so don't worry about that. 
We're going to go in with half a teaspoon or so of salt. We can adjust the flavors later if you would like. I'm just going to go across the top. That looks good. Some black pepper, about half a teaspoon. There we go. Now we need to give it some broth. Now I'm using Better Than Bouillon and it's a condensed version of like broth. This is a roasted chicken flavor. It's going to add some deliciousness to this. So when you make this, you want four teaspoons to four cups of hot water. Now I've already prepared it right here. And as always, I added a little extra because I really love this flavor here. So we're going to add that on top of all of our chicken and veggies and seasonings. Woo. Make sure you get it all out of there. Let's stir this all together. Smells amazing in there. We're going to place the lid on. We're going to cook this on high about two and a half to three hours or you can cook it on low between five and six hours. That's because my chicken is already cut up into pieces. Now, if you're using the full chicken breast, just remember that you may need to cook it longer to get it nice and tender. We still have the gnocchi and a few extra ingredients that we're gonna put into the crock pot later to finish this soup off. All right, it smells delicious in the house, you guys. We're not even finished yet, but we do know that the chicken is cooked through and nice and tender. So what we're going to do is stir in two cups of heavy whipping cream. We're going to add in a cornstarch slurry, which is one tablespoon of the cornstarch and about a couple tablespoons of water. Just mix that together. We're going to add that. Stir that in. We're going to add in 16 ounces of potato gnocchi. Now it generally comes in a package like this. All right, so we're going to break them in. Be very careful that you don't splatter yourself. These are stuck together. Oop. We're going to place the lid back on. We're going to cook this on high for another 20, 25 minutes. And then we have just two more things to do to this before we enjoy some gnocchi chicken soup. I'm talking about something amazing here, you guys. Let's finish this off. I'm going to bring you up here. Let's put the final two ingredients in and let's give this a try. All right, we're going to mix in spinach. About three ounces of fresh spinach. Now, the crock pot is off, so we're just going to let that heat soften down the spinach and then while that's happening you can even chop your spinach up more if you want but it's going to wilt down really good and we're going to add another layer of flavor we've got some parmesan cheese here that's shredded we're going to add in half a cup right across the top we're going to mix that in well, you can see the little bits of carrot in there. And then you got the green from the spinach. Oh, mmm. Y'all grab a bowl. Here's your spoon. All right, there's my bowl. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more Parmesan right on top. It's a nice little garnish. There's my bite. Mmm. Mm. That chicken is very tender. That gnocchi, oh my goodness, 
it just kind of plumped up and it's kind of fluffy, absorbed those flavors. And that broth, mmm. Oh, it is so warm and comforting. Delicious for sure. All right, you guys, it's soup day. Give me a thumbs up on this one. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.